Hello everybody, this is Bino4657 again. Welcome back to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I am here in the Kokiri Forest looking for 40 rupees so we can buy a shield. Which is taking a hell of a lot longer than it should have. House of Twins. There's nothing we can get in there besides pots. Yeah, that smokes a pot with the twins. Okay, I'm just kidding. Oh my god. This did not take me this long when I first played it. Actually, it did. This is pathetic. I usually do this really fast. Where are the freaking rupees? Okay, this is Minnow's house, right? He's got some money to steal. Okay, that's what I thought. Thank you. There should be two rupees and two hearts in here. Okay. Oh wait, no, this isn't a... Oh, excuse me! I knew but there were three rupees in a heart. Okay. Well, that made perfect sense, right? Oh, for God's sakes, just give me four god... Four goddamn rupees. Oh my god, just two more. There's gotta be two more in this patch of grass over here. Oh, come on! Yes, thank you! <laughs> I knew there had to be at least one more. So yes, in the beginning of this one, they have to... What the hell? Why did it just give me five rupees for doing that? Hi, Beer, look this way. Look over here with L. I don't even know how to l target. You screw off, lady. Okay, so anyway, talk to the shopkeeper. We can now get a shield for 40 rupees. That's pretty expensive for kids, don't you think? I have to wander all over the forest. Who drops all these rupees in the forest anyway? I mean, we're all kids. How do we make money? Where does the money come from? Does it fall from the freaking sky? That's a logical explanation. That's about as logical as the rest of the Nintendo games I played. So anyway, let's equip our shield here. And you use our shield shield with R. Use it to deflect things. And you can also use it while targeting like this. And then stab. And then block. And then stab. And then block. And then stab. Okay, those first two I was doing were slices, not stabs. Excuse me, princess. Hello, asshole. If you want to see the great Deku tree, you should at least equip the sword and a shield. Uh, what's that? Oh, you have a Deku sheet. And what's that? Is that the Kokiri sword? Good grief. Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? I, the Great Minnow, will never accept you as one of us. Sorry, I kind of skipped through that. But I know, I already know what he says. He says, you'll never accept uh, me as one of the Kokiri because he thinks we're an outsider or something anyway. Shoot, how did you get to be the favorite of Saria and the Great Deku tree, huh? From a wimp. Yeah, see? Me and Sari are the most attractive people in the in the forest, which is why the Great Deku Tree likes us, I guess. I Sari likes me, and that's all I care about. Liking people. Because she's the only decent person in this forest, and everyone else is just bland and... and... For the record, they're kind of emotionalist. <laughs> you got a Deku stick! Alright. Because that's valuable. So let's equip that right now, because I like sticks. And sticks are fun to use in this game. Cut other things. Four sticks. These are called Deku Bows, by the way. The only way you can they can hurt you is if they touch you. That's literally it. They don't attack you at all. <laughs> Great Deku Tree, I'm back. Navy, what took you so goddamn long? That was like a whole video you wasted. Oh, Navy, thou hast returned. Beaner, welcome. Yeah, thanks. Listen carefully to what I, the Great Deku Tree, am about to tell thee. Slumber, or these past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares. How did you know that? As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate per pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily, thou hast felt it. Beaner, the time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Dost thou have the courage enough to undertake this task? As I do. Then enter, and thou too, Navy. Navy the fairy, thou must aid me. And Beaner, when Navy speaks, you see up to listen well to her words of wisdom. Yeah, I'll do that. Because I have no choice anyway. Alright, let's go. Come on, Nate, we got, a, we got about ten more minutes to finish this dungeon. Oh, 
So yes, this is probably one of the very few dungeons that Zelda games where it actually puts you in a dungeon right away. This is the first dungeon inside the Great Digger Tree. How many times am I going to say dungeon in the next minute? Dungeon, 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 dungeon. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, so these are smart Deku Babas, as I call them. They actually try to kill you. But they fail at it. So we killed them and we got a Deku Nut. These are used to stun enemies and make you a ninja, apparently. What? Look, look, Nina, you can see down below this web using Sia. Yeah, because it's kind of safe, you know? You know, I, I know how to use my eyes. I can see through it without using Sia, but I can't get down there right now. Hey, how dare you? How dare you hurt me? Did that really do a half a heart? I did not know they did that much damage. I thought they only did a quarter of a heart. Anyway, that's a uh, walk up here, because this is where we need to go. God, if this was Master Quest, I'd be screwed. Thank you for the hearts. I needed that. Well, not really. I'm pretty fine, if you ask me. Look at this wall. Yes! It's a wall, Navy! That's really observant. The vine's growing on it. Give it a rough surface. Maybe you can climb it, Mirror. Yeah, but I wouldn't want to with those guys all over the place. So what do we have here? A treasure chest. And it's full of light. And that light contains... A map! You found the dungeon map, whatever. Okay. So this is probably one of the this is probably the first Zelda game that I ever played. Well, of course, this is the first Zelda game that I ever played, but this is probably the first Zelda game that was released, where the map is always on screen pretty much. You can open a door by standing in front of it and pressing A. Pay attention to what the action icon says. That's the green icon on the Would you just shut up? See, this is the only part of the game where I find Navy annoying. Because you can't skip her dialogue. That's the only reason why I find her annoying. Uh, everywhere else, she's fine. She's totally fine. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Forgive me, Master. I will give you a clue if you let me go. When you jump off a high cliff, if you hold this control stick forward, you will roll, out, roll on the ground when you land. It won't get hurt from the fall. I can't guarantee it'll work, though. If the cliff is really, really high... <laughs> well, try it if you are feeling bold. Wahaha. <laughs> like we have uh, a warrior reference in here. Thank you for the heart, though, even though I didn't really need it, literally. Ha ha ha. Okay. Now, when you step on that platform, um, the vo uh, that platform will fall, so skip it. Go this way. By the way, this room in Master Quest is very unforgiving. <laughs> What's up there? I can't quite remember, but I'm pretty sure it's not important. We got another treasure here! So let's open it and find out what it is! We got a very sling slingshot on this item subscreen. You can set it to whatever. Oh my god, I already know how to use this crap. Oh my god. Sorry if you can hear me pounding on my controller, but I hate it when I can't skip dialogue. Thank you. Oh, by the way, I find this part very funny. Watch out! It's a ladder! Shoot him with a slingshot and it goes down. Which is strange. I have no idea how it does that. But whatever. We'll use that platform that we could have taken to go back really fast because I don't know. I'm not speed running this game at all. I've just gotten a few tips from other LPs I watch, mainly Nintendo Capri Sons. But now that we got the slingshot, we can now pick out these things. These are called Skeltolas, by the way. Other people pronounce them Skulltolas, people pronounce them Skulltolas, I pronounce them Skulltolas because that puts more emphasis on the word Skull, and I think that sounds pretty badass. Anyway, now that we got rid of the Skulltolas, we can now climb the vines and go up to the next area. I'm pretty sure it's impossible to get up here without taking out the Skulltolas, but if you can, good for you! <laughs> okay, so here we are on the second floor, watch out for this guy. <laughs> You know what? I don't have to deal with you. I'm not gonna freaking deal with you, okay? Ah, crap. Okay, we got treasure chest over there, a treasure chest over there, a skull toll up there. Um, so we're going over here. I can't really remember. But anyway, press the switch, and platforms will come up. Jump across here, and to this treasure chest, and this should be our compass. 
joke from Twilight Princess is back, everybody. You got the compass! My family found that word so hilarious when, when we were playing this at first. Because the word ass stood out so much for some reason. I don't know why. We're just like that. So come down here and get this little and come down. And then jump down. And he's dead. I want a stick. A stick. What? Strange. Fine, don't give me a stick. Give me some nuts. Because I need some nuts. Rupees! <laughs> I'm not going to pass up any chance to get some rupees. I heard a gold skull told us, so I'm gonna go get that. Now I remember where it is. God, I'm so stupid. It's over here. There it is. I'm gonna kill it now. With my sword. You destroyed a gold skull tola. You got a token for proving you destroyed it. Thank God that dialogue is skippable. Woohoo! Well, heart that we didn't need. I am wasting so much time. 24 minutes? Um, I have no idea. Uh, yeah, like, woo, God. Now I know why that Deku Bob was there. Is there only one door up here? That's what I think of, right? I can't really remember. I'm pretty sure there's only one door up here, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. Got it. Woohoo! Deadass. Okay. Now this deck of is gonna try and push us off. But we're too smart for it. Another gold skull tola here that we can kill and get its token. Which is strange. I never I never really understand the point of this. Actually I do understand the point of it, but I don't understand the concept behind it. How did they come up with that? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Game boss. That's what. That's what matters. There's another one. I like the GameCube version of this game better, mainly just because of the joystick you use. The GameCube one is a whole lot better than the N64 one. I'll tell you that. So we hit the switch, and that burns the torch. Which now we can use that. Jump on this floor here. It's kind of hard to see it. I don't even know if my capture card will show it. But there's floor there. Uh oh. We're kind of out of time. I'm sorry, everybody. We'll get the Deku Tree done next time on Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. See you next time, folks. Get back here, you little bitch. Sick your burger.